with a win Saturday mean for Joe Burrow? Uh, it would catas- catapult him into a completely different category, more so in narrative form, I believe, than anything else. Mm. If Joe Burrow to win- were to win on-, on Sunday, all of a sudden, the Bengals, who didn't win a playoff game in 31 years, have now won not one, but two playoff games? Mm-hmm. Joe Burrow, second season in the NFL. Joe Burrow, he's catapulted into a category with the great young quarterbacks, and now he is near the top of that list. Now, somebody who knows better than anybody is sitting here, Mark Sanchez. Okay. Sanchez, you go to an AFC championship game early on in your career, not one, but two catapults him into a different category. I'm thinking about the likes of Dante Culpepper, Tom Brady, Ben Roethlisberger, Flacco, Sanchez, Cap, Russell Wilson, Pat Mahomes. All those people live on great at minimal in narrative form. Dante Culpepper, mm. cover of Madden 2002. Like, what about Culpepper? Get your roll on! Exactly. Get your roll on! That dude was beast! Exactly! Hall of Fame! So you got Cole Pepper. I love You Cole got Pepper. Flacco, $100 million quarterback, highest paid quarterback in the National Football League when he hit his deal. You got Russell Wilson. You know how big his name is. You got Ben Roethlisberger, about to be a first ballot Hall of Famer. Colin Kaepernick, obviously everybody knows him for what he's done off the field at this point. But don't forget when Colin Kaepernick was kissing the Bible. Hilton. Yeah, back in the, uh, when he was Hilton. in the league. You got Mark Sanchez on the cover of magazines. So when I think about it, oh. My bad. You look at your shirt. Stop. Stop. Look at that you. And he got his was, tucked in. That was 10 years ago. Oh, oh, look my at God. Oh, look at this throw. Oh, you're going with the Run Ronaldo out. tank. Exactly. Look exactly. at you. Oh, man. This he dude was a star. Was that and still is that Ooh. dude. And you true. live on in narrative form when you do incredible things like yes. go to an AFC yes. championship game yes. that young. Look no further than the man to my left, Mark Sanchez, mm. to testify to that truth. Mm. If yeah. Joe Burrow wins yeah. on Saturday, if Joe Burrow wins this weekend, he jumps. It doesn't matter what he does the rest of his career. Mm. He will jump in narrative form to a level and a legend that is rarely seen and rarely touched. I, I, can, I can get down with that. <laughs> I bet. That's, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> All I'm saying is he's on this fast track, right? Mm. This, um, you know unheard of ascension in in this narrative you're talking about Mm. so anything else from here is kind of gravy because he got him to this position right they're in this position because of him Mm -hmm. remember he hasn't even played a full season like true or just over a full season Mm. right he played half of a rookie year got hurt came back and balled out bang had you know a stinker against the bears i remember that one week four but for the most part has been absolutely lights out now they're playing here because of him at this rate you're talking about narrative if he continues to ascend at, you know, with this kind of trajectory, with this kind of speed, I mean, we're talking like statue in front of Paul Brown Stadium. Yeah. We're talking about his own line of Skyline Chili, like that's going to rival Skyline <laughs> Chili. It could be Joey B's Beef Chili or something. Like Joey Ball game is going places, yeah. mm, especially yeah. with a big win. However, that's a big win <laughs> this weekend to go to Tennessee, Tennessee, <laughs> with, totally with Henry back. With those two receivers playing well, with Tannehill knowing how to take care of the ball, that's that's a tall order now. They're going to have to play some serious defense. He's going to need some help on special teams. It's not all going to be Joe Burrow. If he's got to go throw it 50 times, th- that's a hell of an order for, mm, for, like for a young QB. Like yeah. Like God, I like what you guys are saying, but I hate to be <laughs> oh, here we go. the guy who lives take up to Take down the statue. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the chili. Yeah, yeah. Let me be who I am. Um, one of my nicknames. Wild style. One of my nicknames, Teddy Bear. One of my nicknames, that dude. Another one? Debbie Downer. Donald Downer. <laughs> they call me <laughs> Donald Downer. Because in the middle of, of a nice dinner party, yeah. I will stop the music and say, what just happened here? As they say, I'm based. I will go there, damn it. All right. Here's the problem. What would a win for him on Saturday mean? You know what it would mean? As you even answered, not as much as advertised. It will be more sizzle props than actual substantive love. This is what's going to happen, and it happened to you, Sanchez. The floor will be too high too early, and all of a sudden, they're going to imprison him based on those expectations. Mm -hmm. This is what's going to happen, just like it's happening in San Francisco. They get bored with just something that's good or great. They look at Jimmy G like, man, get out the way. Jimmy G took him to a Super Bowl. Jimmy G now has them in a pick em game, some will say, against mm. the Green Bay Packers. And people are like, we don't care. They even are bored with that success. In Cincinnati, you give it to them too fast, too early, they're going to get bored 
with greatness. They're going to get bored right. with his success. This is what this is. And it's happened to all of us. It's a setup. Oh, man. You're saying he's better off losing this game long term. I'm just, I always tell Acho, there's two ways to get 15 sacks. 0, 5, 10, and 10, 5, 0. Which player you believe in more? They both got 15 sacks. Oh, it's a way, is it's that a like way a to. Pound of feathers, a pound of bricks kind of thing? Like, um, I both don't know. 15 <laughs> <laughs> but I, I will tell you this let's bring it home. Please. Okay, this is your auntie at your eighth grade graduation. Talk to me. Okay? And we all went to Scissor after. Then we all. My Nigerian auntie? Uh, uh, uh. Oh. I don't know about her. She might have cooked. We got different auntie. <laughs> we got a Hispanic auntie. You got a tear. We got a Nigerian auntie. <laughs> okay, here we go. My auntie. Thank you. Okay, my auntie at my eighth grade graduation. Oh, baby, congratulations, congratulations. And then walks away. Mm. You know why? Because in the scheme of things, and great perspective, do you even care about your eighth grade graduation? Like, you're kind of like, you're supposed to do that, right? If Joe Burrow's going to be great, he's supposed to win a divisional game. Not this early, though, because all it's going to do is set him up for the failures that he may go through going forward. Because the odds of him going up and down are greater than him continue to elevate. Ah, there's so many layers here. I'm going to lead you somewhere. That's the only That's reason I wanted to, to chime in first. You said he'll be a prisoner of his expectations. You all know we've all seen these things on social media. If you had to be stranded on this island for a year for $10 million, would you do so? No cell phone, no electricity. Mm. Essentially, you're in prison. It just so happens you're in prison in Bora Bora. I think I would take that. <laughs> because while you're a prisoner of your expectations, if the expectations are where you want to be and the expectations you have for yourself, put me in that prison. Facts. Just Great like point. those social Great media uh, ploys. Put me on that island by myself. Great I point. wanted to be there anyway. Joe Burrow, two days ago, Sanchez, I'm sure you saw it, he came out and said, yeah, this is what I expect for the Cincinnati Bengals. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not that excited because this is where we're going to be from here on out. This is who Joe Burrow is. Now, mm. you hit the nail on the head, though. <laughs> because Sanchez, y'all were in the league at the same time, and we were in the league at the same time. You caught nah, the No, no, nah, Sanchez, 09, I was done in 07. Okay, you're done by then. I know my legacy, my greatness, my impact did not last till 09 either. But, <laughs> nah, we ain't overlap. But, I would have brought his ass So, down. Sanchez and I overlapped. No. Sanchez was in New York, and he goes from New York to the Eagles. I am at the Eagles. Mm. So, I knew of Sanchez's career before I knew of Mark Sanchez. Mm -hmm. The legacy of the career, I was like, oh, snap. Yeah. Like, this dude done beat Belichick? Mm. This dude done went to AFC wildcard games? This dude was on a GQ? This That's dude was like... The legacy, because of the early accomplishments, games. were so great. I don't know if it did set you up for failure later on in your career, Ooh. but I know that the highs were so high that it put the league on notice and it put defenders on notice that when what? you walked into one Nova Care way and we became teammates, I was like, oh, that's Mark Sanchez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, then yeah, I yeah. just found out, oh, it's Mark Sanchez. <laughs> I want hey. Just taking bubble baths on, on oh. camera. <laughs> what did he say? What did he say? When they see me in real life, I look better in real life or whatever. <laughs> You guys always see the rap songs. I figured I could jump in. Yeah, yeah. I probably butchered Now, it. jump out. But speak to that. Speak <laughs> no, to that really because, tall. like, no. did it set you up ooh, for failure? Well, ooh, ooh. well, it just sets, it sets a really high bar. And then a lot of that is team success. A lot mm -hmm. of that is continuing to mature and um, your, your growth as a quarterback, uh, understanding what winning, what wins and loses games. I think Joe Burrow is light years ahead of where I was. I mean, that's not a dig at myself. I've just, I've seen the guy work out. I've seen his work ethic. I can... I can tell just by talking to him, he's a little off, like in a good way. Mm -hmm. his, his pie chart of life is like one tiny little sliver that's not football, and that's like family and video games and like mm -hmm. <laughs> probably pretty much it. Mm -hmm. Everything else is like rehab, football, film. You know, he's like living in this football matrix world. So, yes, this is what he expects. And he comes off. If you don't know him very well, it's a little off-putting because he'll be like, yeah, this is okay. You didn't think this was coming? Mm -hmm. And he doesn't mean it in a rude way. It's just his, the, the way he is. It's yeah. just his mentality. It's his expectation. Uh, and it's through the roof. Now, uh, you know, they go out and win six games next year. Yeah, there's a lot of people, especially on this panel, that'll talk a lot of smack on them for, for those kind of comments. But that's just the way it is. Oh, man. You're looking at so intently. Uh -oh. Man, I had to oh, go no. just make sure that I knew go. what I knew. Oh, my God. <laughs> Philip Rivers. Okay. Uh. Borderline Hall of Famer, correct? Mm -hmm. Philip Rivers. When you look at him. A couple things stick out. Damn, he was good, but there were others that were better. Yes, sir. Like, let's be real. Joe Burrow's going to stick out. But then there's going to be Justin Herbert. There's going to be Josh Allen. Sure. There's going to be Patrick Mahomes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then Phillip Rivers goes to an AFC championship game, right? 
right. loses. Mm -hmm. AFC Championship game is higher than what this is right now, but loses. Maybe he gets there this year, Joe Burrow. But then all of a sudden, they start looking around when he was a Charger, like, okay, when are we going to burst through this glass ceiling? When are we going to burst through this threshold? And that becomes the conversation that is more blinding than actually what is he doing every single year, putting you in position to win. Is Cincinnati just all of a sudden going to run a dynasty? Is Cincinnati all of a sudden just every year AFC championship or bust? I, I will go on record and say no. Because if Patrick Mahomes hasn't done it just yet in terms of AFC championship, Super Bowl win or bust, in Patrick Mahomes' greatness, he has one ring. You think Joe Burrow's just going to go out there now, set the floor that high, there's not going to be any room between the floor and the ceiling, and say, I'm going to live comfortably in there. Even if all you like to do is play video games, you need more space than that. You don't need that success that early. But all I'm saying is check that division, dude. Check oh, he's going to be in position. It's true. I mean, they are tanking at the right. Look at the yeah, way, true. and this takes nothing away from Tom Brady, but they ran that division yep. for like yeah. 17 years yeah. straight, and nobody could even touch them. Yeah. I don't see that division really challenging him. Great point. Ben Roethlisberger's gone. Who's going to be their next successor? Yep. Lamar Jackson, what's going to happen there with his contract yep. situation? Baker Mayfield, who's the future of Cleveland? But Joe Burrow is sitting pretty. <laughs> they look like... He's sitting pretty in his division, but not the but conference. Here, that's but, fine, but honestly, all you got to do Brady, is get there. Brady's all you got to do point. is get there. If you're built to beat your division, yeah. then that should be enough to propel you to a couple <sighs> more wins during the year. Yeah. All you got to do is get in the tournament yeah, and see yeah. what happens. Mess around, get a home game. Let's go. Now we're one win away from a championship game. I mean, it yeah. happens fast. It does. It happens really fast. I'm about to, I'm about to kick up some dust, but I ain't going to hide my hands. Can we go to the big board? Can, oh. we, take a, can we take a field trip? Oh. Can we take a field trip. trip to the big board? There we go. Oh, you, you coming too? Oh, me too? I get to go. Yay. Yeah, everybody come to the big board. <laughs> yeah, everybody come. We taking a field trip. I didn't know. Tennis shoes. <laughs> to the big board. If you don't move them old knees and old Boy, you already know. I had to get the right hip. I had to get a permission slip. I know. The right hip. If Joe Burrow wins yes. and Josh Allen loses to the Chiefs, that's the assumption I'm making. Okay. Josh Allen loses, Joe Burrow wins. I think, oh. Sanchez, to, to a little bit of what you said, but I'm going to take it even further. Oh. Joe Burrow, to me, is now the second no. best quarterback oh. under 25. Oh. Let me break it down. I'm not, I'm not talking about talent. I'm not talking what, about talent. What are you saying? I'm talking about overall how it translates. We know that Josh Allen is more talented. We know that Justin Herbert is more talented. Lamar Jackson might even be more talented than mm. Joe Burrow. But Sanchez, you know this, Sal, you know this. Let's go. And I just want to talk. I don't even want to do all that charade. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some quarterbacks just have it. Oh, he And has. it translates. Aaron Rodgers is more talented than Tom Brady. But Aaron Rodgers doesn't have that same it that Tom Brady has that somehow makes everybody better. Mm. If Joe Burrow goes to an AFC championship game, that means that he's done what Justin Herbert couldn't do in two years. That means he's done what Lamar Jackson couldn't do in about four years. That means he's done what it took Josh Allen three years to do, but he did it in two, and he went to a franchise that was worse. Uh, uh, if Joe Burrow uh, goes to an AFC championship game, assuming again Josh Allen loses, mm. y'all, give me his talent plus his it over Herbert's talent, over Lamar's talent, over Allen's talent, I'm not saying that Burrow's more talented. I ain't that crazy. Uh. But y'all, he makes it work. He went to LSU when you covered college football. Uh. You go to LSU. LSU ain't won a title since Les Miles. And you instantly have the greatest LSU football team in the history of the program. Then you go to Cincinnati. Mm. Cincinnati hasn't won a playoff game in 31 years. And you instantly win two games. Go to the AFC Championship game. We're making the assumption Joe Burrow wins. How can you sell? You're saying he's at the Super Bowl now? No, no, no. Making the assumption he goes to the AFC Championship game. Okay. How can you make an argument that you want Justin Herbert, not based off talent, but I don't get how y'all can make the argument that give me Justin Herbert, who hasn't gone to the playoffs yet, mm. and he's done less with more. Mm. Give me Lamar Jackson, who hasn't gone to a championship game yet, and he's done less with more. Give me Josh Allen, who it took longer to do less with more. Uh, I just don't know how y'all can mm, take these other guys. I don't know. No. I mean, no. It sounds good, but that's, I think we're just, we're, we're like leaps and bounds, just leapfrogging other guys. And I don't know if that's fair. I need a little more time on task. I need a little more, a couple more wins, like consistency over the years. And a lot of this has to do with team success as well. Mm -hmm. Like other guys, yeah. clock management towards the end of the game. Like yeah. there's some things that could have changed. 
for the Chargers to be in this playoff discussion, and we're singing a different tune about Justin Herbert. So, I don't know. Some of this is based on some other players and other components there. Yeah, man, I got to get in on this, too. I keep sucking in. I know it's going to be tough, but you know, hold it in. <laughs> <laughs> At least I would be if I was in it. Well, well, but this button about to go back. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, I know that you are selling, and I'm, I'm here, on and, I, and I'm buying. I'm buying. But when I buy things, especially for my kids, I like the packages that say no assembly required. You know, mm -hmm. your argument just it, too many parts, too many pieces right there. Because look at this guy right here. He's post-traumatic stress. The reason why he's like, I don't know. Was he the number two quarterback because he had the early success of AFC championship game appearances? Consecutive, like back to back. Him. But you don't all of a sudden, right. because of that team success, just say, well, you're just going to leap past everyone else that we think that is actually better than Although, you. But they've he, won a lot of these games that, because of him. That's because of him. Point. Like, so, Joe Mixon. Very yeah, did, but y'all keep it's talking it's team success, team success. Okay. Because Bengals team did not have success oh, they before Joe Burrow showed they up. Rolled Joe Burrow, that's fair. That's they my point. Over. Like, okay, oh, keep yeah. talking. Oh, the Bengals have a whole bunch of team success. Joe Burrow is giving them team success. Okay. The Bengals were worse before Joe Burrow arrived than Lamar Jackson's Ravens before Lamar arrived. The Bengals were worse before Burrow arrived yeah. than Justin Herbert's Chargers before Herbert arrived. Yeah. The Bengals were worse before Burrow arrived than Josh Allen's Bills before Josh Allen arrived. And okay. we all know the Bengals were worse before Burrow arrived than the Chiefs were before yeah. Mahomes arrived. Burrow's Bengals were nothing okay. before Burrow. That's why he was the number one overall pick. Yeah. He wasn't. He wasn't. He oh, wasn't. Yeah. And even he wasn't. So, so he went to a But he went team. to the best situation. Judge yeah, a man by the distance point. travel. That's my point. Judge and a man by the distance sick. travel. Yeah. Why you don't have Joe Burrow? Because he went to the worst. He, he went to the worst yeah. situation. Now, Burrow's not a one because, he, like yeah. you said, he ain't one. Listen, yeah. to jump all those guys, he's got to beat Tannehill this weekend. Yes, sir. Yes. He's got to go to either Buffalo or KC. So he has to beat them. Play a that dragon. One. Okay, that's okay. Play a one dragon. Of and be here in LA, Radio Row, like getting ready for the Super Bowl. But let me ask. I mean, both, if he wins that one, why put him off the map? Of He'll be number one. Mm. Let me ask both of y'all. Why does Burrow have to win an AFC Championship game to jump Allen, even though Allen has Allen's won an better? AFC it's really simple. We right now don't think Joe Burrow is better than Josh Allen. I think universally, talent-wise, agreed. Just an even accomplishment performance just yet. He's yeah, I mean, not Josh there got yet. Five playoff. Yeah, he's Some not there yet. Yeah. He has Justin Herbert just because of team success. Mm -hmm. But then even that, people will say, let's talk about quarterback to quarterback. Some would pick They're Justin close. Herbert. Some They're would close. pick Joe Burrow. It's close. He needs not only to have the team success, but he also has to sprinkle in a little more of a dose of Joe Burrow is off the charts. I don't see that just yet. I see him putting this team on his back. I see him having the it factor. I'm seeing him have tremendous intangibles. But in terms of all performances, Josh Allen and Justin Herbert still got Let me, let me ask you more. Go ahead. And you too, Lamar. Just a little more. I just think it's a lot. That's it's a, a lot. Task. It is. <laughs> uh, but I, I, I think, wouldn't y'all say, and I'm doing this right now, wouldn't you say that what Joe Burrow has accomplished is the third most impressive thing on the list of accomplishments? Patrick Mahomes, <laughs> NFL MVP, Super Bowl MVP. <laughs> I'm putting this unanimous MVP uh, above Joe Burrow. Okay. But taking the Bengals from nothingness, no playoff wins in 31 years to now winning a playoff game. And again, I'm assuming he beats the Titans for this list. That's greater than your 31 passing touchdowns as a rookie. That's greater yeah, than yeah, yeah. your second place to Aaron Rodgers and MVP. <laughs> Bro, and you know this, to take a team from nothingness, and mind you, your defense with the Jets was yeah, dominant. Silly. To take a, de a, a team from nothingness to an AFC championship game, I don't know. I, I, now, I'm betting on his potential. No, nah. but if you get that to word. an AFC Championship game, it's realized. Oh yeah, it's real. That thing has become kinetic. Thanks for joining us, Mark Sanchez. Yes, Let us be your punch back, and let's punch it back. All right.